Something that excites me is having people look at opera or a night at the opera and have their expectations defied. These three operas give us three looks inside the inner psychic landscape of three different operatic heroines. The evening begins with John Zorn's extraordinary monodrama, La Machine de Lettre. Machine de Lettre, uh, the machine of being, was inspired by a series of drawings by Antonin Artaud, the shamanic theatrical visionary. We've actually used the drawings of Antonin Artaud and created these stop motion animations as if these drawings that Artaud did in an insane asylum, they'd come to life. Anu Komsi is a Finnish singer known for the kind of voice that just kind of glows up above the staff. This piece is about alchemy and magic. It's going to be pyrotechnics and lights and people flying around. La Machine, the machine of being, is the theater. <laughs> That's followed by Schoenberg's Erwartung, or Expectation. Schoenberg's music at this point was he had not invented the 12-tone system yet. He was pushing tonality to the absolute extreme. Karen Shea Thompson is that breed of new young American singer who can pretty much do anything. Vocally, she is just this powerhouse of sound. The curtain goes up and you're in this depthless space that's totally black, and then from that emerges an ensemble of 10 people to help populate the world. Ken Roten is the choreographer. His pieces always have a very singular look. We've twisted the temporal world of a Vartung so that there are moments when you don't know if you're moving forward in time or backwards in time, and that's a part of letting the audience explore it for themselves. Rounding out this triptych of monodramas is another remarkable New York City premiere, Morton Feldman's only opera, Neither, with a libretto written for him by Samuel Beckett, also Beckett's only opera. The text itself functions as its own instrument because it is this poetry. Absolutely lustrous orchestral writing and stratospheric writing for the soprano, uh, the role tackled here by the great Cindy Seden. The Feldman, to me, is something different. It feels like you're floating on the ocean at night. For me, in terms of the costumes, the idea is her in this dress is able to sort of manipulate the space. In the set, the idea was for the curtain to go up after intermission and for people to just see something that they've really never seen before on stage. It's both abstract and very mysterious, but also fundamental. It's just about what it is to be human. These are three extremely powerful individuals exploring places that you don't normally go in everyday life. We want to bridge that gap between the art and the opera worlds. My hope is that people have an experience that is beyond what they might have expected to have in an opera house.